Hey everyone, I want to show you this really cool website called Street Mix. It's a great tool for re-envisioning what a street could look like by dragging and dropping different modules for vehicle lanes, bike lanes, sidewalks, trees, a whole bunch of other things. In this example, I'm going to pick on Lad Lane, the subject of my last video, which the city recently restriped to look like this. Uh, that was for traffic calming, but I think we can do a lot better through actual physical changes to the road. The first thing I did is I measured in Google Maps the width from the back of sidewalk to back of sidewalk, and that gave me 75 feet. That's how much room we have to work with, and that's what I put into Street Mix. Before the city restriped it in its wavy configuration, it was four lanes with bike lanes on either side and sidewalks. You can tell there's not a lot of shade here, so when I redesign this street, I'm going to prioritize getting some trees in there, some actual safe bike lanes, and keeping the driving lanes narrow for actual traffic calming. So let's go back into Street Mix. Um, as the city has already reduced it from four lanes to two, we can get rid of a lane each direction. That gives us a lot of room to start working with. So first, our sidewalks are six feet. I'm going to bump those up to eight feet, just to give people a little more room when they're walking. And these six and a half foot bike lanes that are just painted and pretty much in the gutter, I'm going to also bump those up to eight feet that's a pretty comfortable width to allow side-by-side -side riding, especially with an elementary school nearby. That would allow a parent to ride side-by-side -side with their kid when we make these bike lanes safer and not next to cars. So we can see they're still on the same level as the pavement as the cars here. What I'm going to do is actually bump them up to sidewalk level. So now they're separated from cars by a curb. That's already a lot safer. We also have these remaining driving lanes as, as 12 feet. That's kind of wide. I'm going to bring those down to 11 feet. All right, now let's get some trees in there, but let's strategically use these trees as a buffer between the sidewalk and bike lane and the driving lane. So I'm going to put those on the inward side of the bike lanes between the bikes and the cars. Just make these five feet to give the tree roots a little more room to breathe. And finally, we have 11 feet left over. When you have a two lane road, just a painted center line down the middle, it kind of feels a little bit wider. So let's put a median in here that will be 11 feet wide. The good thing about having an 11 foot wide median is that at intersections, this can drop out and become a left turn lane. So here's your final street. I think it looks a lot better than the existing one. This is a real life street in Amsterdam. Take away the parking and it's pretty similar to what we designed. We got a planted median with one lane on either side, we got another planted strip, and then the bike lane, some vegetation, and the sidewalk.